Today I'm going to show you how to use your Line 6 Helix to control your computer recording software. You can use the foot switches on the Helix to do things like start recording, play, and stop, among other things. So you can do things with your feet instead of coming over here, hitting the record button, then quickly trying to get ready to play the guitar part. Now you can just do everything with your feet, like this. And there you go. So what I'm going to do next is go into the Helix and into the computer program to show you how to set everything up. So I have the Helix hooked up to the computer via USB. And this process might be a little bit different depending on what recording program you're using. I'm using Persona Studio One version 3. So let's get started. So I'm going to dive into my mix console here. And I'm going to go down to external devices. I'm going to hit the plus sign to add a new device. And it's already clicked on new control surface. I'm going to name it Helix. Now I'm going to receive from the Helix and send to the Helix. Then we hit OK. Now we're going to edit this by going down to this little triangle here, going up to edit. Now this portion, we're going to be jumping back and forth from the Helix to the computer. But before we do that, I'm going to select MIDI Learn. Now, as we mess with the Helix, also on the computer, it will be receiving these MIDI messages. So you'll see little uh, buttons, knobs, faders, whatever. They will all be popping up in this MIDI Learn area. So as we go down to the Helix, we're going to click on this button here. Go down to Command Center. Now, what I want to do is I want to have Record, Play, and Stop. Now this is also capacitive, so if I touch these, uh, once, once it's not going to do it yet, but once they're assigned, you can switch back and forth. Now we're going to come up to Command, we're going to go to CC Toggle. Now we're going to change MIDI channel to 1. We're going to leave CC number for the first one as 0. Now dim value and lit value mean that whenever it's not selected, that's the dim value. Whenever it is selected, that's the lit value. So uh, I could get into it and explain exactly how this works, but just to save time, I'm going to show you actually how to set it up. Now I'm going to switch dim value all the way up to 127 as well. So this way, no matter whether it's dim or lit, it's going to be sending the same MIDI uh, note. So now you can see. It doesn't matter if I switch it anymore, it's staying all the way up. Now I don't want this to be a knob, I want it to be a button. So I'm going to right click and select button on off. Now let's do the same thing. We'll rename all these in a bit. So let's go over one, do the same thing, come over to CC toggle, MIDI channel one. Now we're going to switch this to note value one. Now that, by doing that, it differentiates these two. So then we're going to change the dim value to 127 again. And then we're going to press it. And as you can see, it pops up on the computer there. And again, we don't want a knob, we want a button. Switch it to button on off. 
Then we're going to come down here and do one more. So we're going to switch it to CC toggle, MIDI channel 1, CC note 2. Now it's 0, 1, 2. And then dim value, we're going to make it 127. So once again, if they're, it doesn't matter if they're lit or if they're dim. They're still sending all the same exact uh, value, note, and everything. So for the third one, we're going to change it from a knob to a button on off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to the computer. Now this is where we set it up so that we tell the computer what to do when you get this message. So for control number one, we're going to right click and hit assign command. So now in Personas, uh, to, to start recording, uh, we're just going to type in record or start typing in. Now we're going to come down to transport and select record. Hit OK. Now when we hit that first one, it's going to start recording. Come over here to control two. We're going to assign command. We're going to make this play. Now it's called start in Persona Studio One. Come down to transport, make it start, hit OK. Now control three, we're going to make that stop. So we're going to do assign command, type in stop, transport stop, hit OK. Now, that's exactly what happens. We press uh, record, start, and stop. Now, in the program, I don't have anything selected uh, that's going to record if I hit record. So, let's see if it works. Okay, it started, started recording, and then if I hit the third one, it should stop. Now I can hit it again and it'll start back over. Then if I don't want to record, if I just want to play, that would be this one. And then we could stop. Now the last part we're going to do is we're just going to go in here and customize these. So for the first one, remember that's the record one, we're going to hit customize, name this record. Do, 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 do. Okay, hit OK. Now we're going to customize again. I'm going to switch the color to red. Hit OK. Now I'll go over. Now this one we're going to customize again. We'll change the color now. Uh, let's do let's do green. Okay, and we'll rename it. This is going to be play. Now it says record play. Now, like I said before, it's capacitive. So now I just I can just touch this. It switches. All right, so we're going to name this. We're going to change this one. Uh, let's switch this one to let's do blue. Just for fun. And we're going to name it stop. Got to keep it all lowercase there. Oh, maybe I should spell right. All right. And OK. Now, come back. And we have our whole patch set up here. So now we have record, play, and stop. So let's just test them out again. The pre-count should start. 
and I hit stop. That worked out good. And then play. All good. And there you go. So guys, that's how you do it. You set everything up and it works great. This way you can actually spend more time playing the guitar and getting yourself ready instead of clicking a whole bunch of stuff and getting all confused and getting frustrated because you're your own engineer. So hopefully this video helped you guys and thanks for watching. Subscribe and leave some comments to let me know what you think and what other kinds of videos you wanna see with the Helix. All right, thanks guys.